we'll now see how we can calculate aggregations for cognos list uh, by uh, using formulas. Uh, here I have uh, my cognos open, but I also have this uh, Excel file. Inside of this Excel file, I have the source data, and we will use this Excel file to explain some of the results in our, our cognos. Uh, here, inside of this um, uh, Excel file, we can see that we have columns for years, for dates, for months. Uh, months is a number. Then working days are labeled with one for working days and with zero for weekends. And uh, for in this last column for each month, we have the first date of that month. Now, this uh, last column is uh, special because it is not a real column inside of our database. But this is calculated column. It is calculated inside of columns, and we will see whether there are some differences for uh, such calculated columns. Now, inside of columns, I have uh, my uh, list. This list only has seven rows because all of the data inside of this list is uh, grouped. Below it, uh, we have our aggregations that are calculated by using formulas. But I also made that other kind of calculations here below. And this uh, other kind of calculations is uh, made by using options from this menu. And we will see that there are differences when we are using formulas and when we are using uh, these uh, options here. Now, I already calculated all of the aggregations for all of the columns, but I also made a copy of this uh, column here. And I will show you how to calculate all of these aggregations for this copy. I will first uh, select uh, this column here. I will go to this aggregation button and then to custom. We are using custom when we want to create aggregations by using formulas. In here, I will type function aggregate for this uh, column. And I want to show you that all of these functions are here inside of functions, inside of folder summary. So here we can find all of these uh, functions. So I will click on OK and we would get our first result. Now, Column uh, uh, month ID has a sum of 354 if we sum all of the values from the source data. So if we go here to this Excel file, uh, we can see the sum of all of these values is 354. So this is total. And aggregate function uh, is uh, something that is deciding automatically what kind of aggregation to apply. And it is the same with this option summary. If we are using uh, this menu here, here we have summary. So these two options are uh, deciding automatically what kind of aggregation to use. And this time, uh, aggregate function decided to use total. Then we will use total, but this time we will uh, uh, use the total explicitly. So I will go here to custom and I will type uh, function total. I will click on OK and as expected, we would get 354. Then we will use count. Uh, this is really big result. So it is, this is obviously not a count of values from the list, but uh, from the values uh, from the source uh, date. Then we can uh, create count distinct formula. For that, we go here to custom. Uh, we will type uh, count, open parenthesis, distinct, and then we will close parenthesis after our column. We'll click on OK, and inside of this uh, column, we have only three values because we only have January, February, and March, so the value is T. Then again, I will uh, go here to type my function. This time, I will use function minimum. And the minimum value is, of course, 1. Then we will uh, calculate the average. We go here, custom. We type function average. OK, and result is 1.701. We select this column here. Uh, we can see here below that that is the average of the values from the source data. Then again, we will select this column, but now we will use uh, this menu and first we will start with default summary. Now we can see that our result is 1, so that means the summary decided to uh, use minimum as a default uh, aggregation. Then we will use total. 
total. Total is of course uh, 12 because when we are using uh, options from this menu, in that case we are actually summing these values here and total of these values is only 12. Then we will use count. Count is only 7 because we only have 7 rows. Count distinct is 3 of course. And then we will calculate minimum. Minimum is 1. And the average value is 1.71. Now uh, this value is 1.70. This is 1.71. Uh, in this uh, uh, second case, if we go here to this sheet 2, uh, we can see that this uh, value 1.71 is actually average of these seven values. So that is result here and this 1.70 is result from the values that are uh, in the source data. So that is the difference. Uh, we are now ready to make uh, some conclusions. As uh, stated before, if we are using formulas to calculate our aggregations, in that case we are referencing our source data. But if we are using many options to calculate our aggregations, then we are referencing data from our list. Also, if we are using this aggregate function, or if we are using this summary option, in that case we have to test what kind of aggregation will be applied to each column. For example, uh, here in these three columns, here, this column, this column, and this column, summary applied minimum value, but for this column it has applied total. So we have to test uh, this. You can also easily notice that it is not possible logically to um, apply some aggregations for each data type. For example, it is not possible to apply total or average to textual data and also for uh, dates. It is not possible to calculate total and averages. But what is possible is this. It is possible to calculate minimum of uh, textual data. In this case, we can assume that this textual data will be sorted in alphabetical order, uh, ascending order. And in that case, letter F will be the first one. So that is why minimum of this textual column will return February.